Hey, 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 YouTube. It is your girl, and I am here with a haul video, but this time it is for makeup, and it is an affordable makeup haul. These are actually um, items that I saw at a place online called Shop Hush. I had never heard of Shop Hush before until I ran across Bebea eyeshadow palette which you've guys seen in a previous haul video and also a tutorial video I used it I fell in love with the palette and then I wanted to see basically they had a dupe um, eyeshadow palette that I was looking for couldn't find it I was searching and then I came across uh, shop hush so I purchased all of these items on my own excuse me i am freshly back from disneyland i go to disneyland every weekend now it's like my my exercise routine to go to disneyland so i'm a little bit shiny Whew, it's hot if you hear any type of wind it's the fan um i actually have not invested in an air conditioner in the bedroom yet so that will probably be my my christmas gift to myself so anywho um, I was there and I just noticed that everything was just so affordable and I was kind of like mm, for real I looked at YouTube videos I looked on Instagram and they actually have pretty great quality products and when I say affordable I'm talking about eyeshadow powder for like five dollars like for real for real like for real <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into what I got um this is brand spanking new this one just released i want to say three days ago this is the aphrodite or aphrodite um bad habit 18 color eyeshadow palette and it is a dupe palette can you guess what they didn't duped this thing i want to say is like 10 bucks they actually duped the Huda Beauty, um, I want to say Rose Gold Palette. Let me see if I have it. I, I already started making space in my collection for my affordable drawer. Let me see if I have it. I do. So, um, it's not completely, completely the same. The one I do notice is that, and something I did like about the Huda Beauty one, is that it had this clear see-through little top here and i really really like that especially when i'm going through my drawers and i'm trying to get motivation or inspiration to do makeup i like that it had the clear top so here is the original and here is the dupe so the dupe comes with a mirror in it from bad habit little beauty doesn't have that um my favorite favorite color in the Huda Beauty was Moon Dust. Moon Dust is this one right here. I use this as a highlight, the inner tear duct area. I absolutely love this shade. So there it is. So let me let me check the names. The names are different, which is good. Okay, so the names are different. And as I'm looking at it, tease top row right here looks like it's supposed to be moon dust so let me get another thing it's softer it's lighter so here is moon dust and here is tease from the dupe collection so no they're not exact dupes but i did swatch the 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 troublesome colors from huda beauty in the dupe one and yeah they duped it <laughs> they sure did like beauty see how chunky and stuff that glitter is excuse me i just came from sephora as well downtown disney sephora so it is still chunky the color payoff is almost the same but if you play around with it use firmer brushes use wet wetter brushes or whatever what have you i think that you can get the same looks from the hue to beauty you can get with this one so i'm going to play in a little bit more i did swatch some of the colors and it's very very close you guys i want to say that this palette was 
ten dollars i don't know how much the huda beauty one i will have all of that information in the link below and yeah okay i'll go over the ingredients like and on a blog post or something like that um now there has been there has been some troubles in the city when it comes to lime crime uh, who else had a scandal? Morphe had a scandal. Jeffree Star had scandals. And for some of those purposes and some of those reasons, I haven't been purchasing from some of those companies. So if I can find a do, I'm about to do before I purchase for the company that has bad business. So this one is from Oak Island or Oakland. This is a matte eyeshadow palette and it is a dupe for the lime crime i think the venus palette so look at those colors i only had i did play in this one the only color that i had that i had trouble with was this one right here which is called muse this purple one uh-uh baby it just no it's like there it is on the finger it looked nice on the finger but then when you try to like apply it and put your brush in it like the color payoff just is not there but when you swatch like venus which is this one right here oh, the color payoff is there the pigmentation it's it's all there so this palette i paid five dollars for and to have only one color be a miss and i can just dig in it a little bit more um with a, a slightly stiffer brush to get the color payoff yes honey yes 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 so that's gonna go where is i have my 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 affordable drawer i gotta, gotta put this stuff away properly so here's my affordable drawer <laughs> welcome home um now in a previous video i said that i did not care for the Too Faced semi-sweet chocolate bar palette one of the shades in this Too Faced semi-sweet chocolate bar palette I was through with. It was pink sugar. Now I have the natural Oak Island eyeshadow color palette. It is a dupe for the semi-sweet palette from Too Faced and their pink sugar this one right here honey their pink sugar is so much better than the Too Faced one. So I'm going to swatch that one right here. I mean, it's still light. But let me show you because I still have the Semi-Sweet palette. Here is the Semi-Sweet palette. Here is their pink sugar. It's this hand. And yeah um Too Faced the dupe Too Faced O'Kylan Too Faced uh no and then O'Kylan hell yeah so they are similar shades they they look similar but some of the swatches and things are a little bit off like the blue which is blue raspberry or blueberry swirl yeah you can kind of tell just by me holding it up that the colors are completely different um i actually really really like this palette the the whole the names are the same and this one does not smell like chocolate heck yeah this one does so if you don't if you don't mind that um this one don't smell like chocolate and um some of the pigmentation and the dupe is actually better honey get the dupe so i think this one was like seven or eight dollars something like that like it, it wasn't like oh my god that's that's gonna set me back like car note payment or something like some of these people be doing you know <laughs> um yeah so another one that is a dupe but i do not have the original to compare with it is the oak island press pigment palette this one they say is supposed to be a dupe from urban decay urban decay and their alice or alice in wonderland or alice through looking glass palette something like that whatever the case may be i don't have it um i didn't see a need for it 
I do have a professional artist discount with Urban Decay. Dang it, I stuck my finger in it. <laughs> stuck my finger in this one. Um, but still, it just wasn't something that I needed in my kit. However, having colors like these around now that I'm back on YouTube doing tutorials, this works perfectly. I don't think the other one is still available. This one is. Um, I did swatch some of the colors. Color payment, payoff, excellent, superb, magnificent. Look at this green one. Just I lightly, lightly, lightly touched it. And let me find some clean. Seriously, for real, for real, you for real, I'm for real, I'm for real, y'all. Um, let me do a purple because purple seems to be a very, very hard shade to work with. Here is more of a plum purple. It's a little light, a little light. Let me go with, ooh, one of the ones I did like. This one is called Dormuse. It's this brown with this reflex gold glitter. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So, I don't know if this is a dead on dupe. However, for the most part, the pigmentation in this palette, you may have one or two misses. You got an A-OK -okay from me. And now this one was a little bit more on the pricier side for me because this one was $20. So still, Urban Decay, they are in the $50 price range. I'm paying less than half, so whoop to do Now, this one is from Beauty Creations. This is a 35 color palette in Aurora. <sighs> they are telling me that these are dupes for Morphe. What do y'all think? Um... Yeah, I actually have not even opened it. It comes with this little plastic sleeve on it. And I gotta find where the little thing is so I can take it off. I'll just use tweezers. But I have seen reviews there it is, on other palettes from this brand. And they were pretty much all positive. I got it because purples are hard. Uh, pigments and eyeshadows to press and get right the formulation is always slightly off so let's go ahead let me dive into a purple make sure I, okay so all right there's the purple let us see okay not bad not great you don't have to build it up let me find another one let's go with this one this reminds me of something that sugar peel would do Mm. Mhm. Mm Looks pretty on the finger. But let's try that swatch. I don't have my arms aren't swatched or oh. That's kind of a good one. My arms are not doesn't have primer or lotion or anything on my arms. Now let's jump from the purples. Let's go to a burgundy. So let's try this one right here. Mm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I see you. Oh, yeah. You giving me sketch? Yeah. Okay, let's try a light one. I'm going to try this one here on the end because it reminded me of that. Oh, the beauty. Ooh, oh, the butter. Oh, the butter. The butter. It's there. The butter, baby. Oh, the butter. Ah, look at that shade. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a nice palette. I guess I'm going to go back and give me another palette with less purples in it. Because purples is, no matter for what company it is, purples are a difficult color to formulate and get right. And eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks, all that jazz, it's always been a difficult... Oh my god, that color! I wish that they had names to them. I think that the B Creations, this one is seventeen dollars if i'm not mistaken and even though this is an affordable brand <laughs> y'all know me i didn't pay with a discount so let me go back i'm going to see if i can find that discount code and i'm going to include it in the description box i am not affiliated with the company so i don't have my own personal discount code like a lot of youtubers and beauty bloggers and stuff they got theirs i don't have one i purchased this stuff on my own and i am completely happy it took 
two days two days for me to get my order two days I actually believe they're in Los Angeles so I'm in Los Angeles too so I, that's kind of <laughs> to be expected but I am completely happy with this purchase I will be going on to see if I can find some other things and I will come back and do another haul video for you guys I hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in the next video I'll talk to you guys later bye that was a long one bye. <laughs>